So for me, I'm trying to get used to the to the system. This is the new way. Amanda Day of the pedestrian advocacy group Best Foot Forward agrees and says studies show younger adults are opting out of suburban sprawl. We're looking at the, the millennials and what they want and what they demand. They don't want cars. They want rail. They want transit. They want seamless mobility. And that idea of live, work, play is a reality. A new study appears to confirm the turn away from sprawl. Wealth creating development in many metropolitan areas has begun a permanent shift away from drivable suburban to walkable urban. For Orlando not to be dead last on the walkability list, pedestrian Lily James says the key is safer streets. We have to watch out for the cars instead of them watching out for us. <laughs> last year alone, 50 pedestrians were struck and killed in greater Orlando. We don't have safe streets to begin with uh, here. I mean, generally, um, I think Orlando, Central Florida, I think a lot of pedestrian deaths just with walking. Day's group is pursuing several initiatives to cut pedestrian deaths in half. Meanwhile, she says SunRail is already sparking walkable urban development up and down the line. SunRail is a game changer. It is the economic spine now of Florida. Now, despite positive signs like this mixed-use development right along the SunRail line in downtown here, this study paints a gloomy forecast for Orlando overall because it says the city still follows the development trend of drivable suburban rather than walkable urban. Reporting live in downtown Orlando, Orange County, Bob Keeling, West